subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss about, AWS Cloud Practitioner, CLFC01. Who should take AWS Cloud Practitioner, CLFC01, exam? AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, CLFC01, exam has been built for professional with the required knowledge, skills, and abilities to demonstrate a basic understanding of the AWS platform, which includes available services and their common use cases, AWS cloud architectural principles at the conceptual level, account security and compliance. You will be required to demonstrate an understanding of AWS cloud economics, which includes costs, billing and analysis and the value proposition of the AWS cloud. Now we will talk about skills validated. AWS Cloud Practitioner Exam validates the candidate's ability to First, understand the value of the AWS Cloud Second, describe the AWS Shared Responsibility Model Third, learn AWS Cloud Security Best Practices Fourth, follow AWS Cloud Costs, Economics, and Billing Practices Fifth, understand, and place the core AWS services, including compute, network, databases, and storage. Sixth, recognize AWS services for common use cases. Recommended knowledge for AWS Cloud Practitioner Exam. If you are planning to take for AWS Cloud Practitioner Exam, it is suggested to have at least six months of experience with the AWS Cloud in any role. This may include traditional and non-traditional students, educators, and individuals exploring the AWS Cloud, including project managers, IT managers, sales managers, decision makers, and marketers, as well as those working in finance, procurement, and legal departments. It is also suggested to have a basic understanding of IT services, and their uses in the AWS Cloud Platform. AWS Cloud Practitioner Learning Path AWS Cloud Practitioner Learning Path is specifically designed for candidates looking to build, and validate overall understanding of the AWS Cloud. Further, this path is useful for individuals in technical, managerial, sales, purchasing, or financial roles who work with the AWS Cloud. Now we will discuss about exam details. The AWS Cloud Practitioner CLFC01 exam comprises of around 65 to 68 question. All the question in the examination will be either multiple choice questions or multiple responses. However, you will only have 90 minutes to complete the examination. As for the registration fee, it is 100 US dollars. And the examination is available in four different languages. Further, these languages are English, Japanese, Korean, and simplified Chinese. Exam results. The results for the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, CLFC01, will be given immediately on submission of the exam. The result declared will be in the form of pass or fail. Moreover, the exam is scored against a minimum standard that is established by AWS professionals who are guided by the certification industry best practices and guidelines. Your results declared for the examination are reported as a score from 100 to 1000, with a minimum passing score of 700. The score you obtain defines how you performed on the examination as a whole, and whether or not you passed. AWS Cloud Practitioner Content Outline First, Cloud Concepts which compromises 26% weightage for this exam. Second, security and compliance, which compromises 25% weightage for this exam. Third, technology, which compromises 33% weightage for this exam. Fourth, billing and pricing, which compromises 16% weightage for this exam. Let us now discuss about course outline topics in detail. Domain 1, Cloud Concepts, 26%. It contains three subtopics which are First, define the AWS Cloud and its value proposition Second, identify aspects of AWS Cloud economics Third, list the different cloud architecture design principles Domain 2, Security and Compliance, 25% It contains four subtopics which are First, define the AWS Shared Responsibility Model Second. Define AWS Cloud Security and Compliance Concepts. Third, identify AWS Access Management Capabilities. Fourth, identify resources for security support. Domain 3, Technology, 33%. It contains four subtopics which are First, 
define methods of deploying and operating in the AWS cloud. Second, define the AWS global infrastructure. Third, identify the core AWS services. Fourth, identify resources for technology support. Domain 4, Billing and Pricing, 16%. It contains three subtopics which are First, compare and contrast the various pricing models for AWS. Second, recognize the various account structures in relation to AWS billing and pricing. Third, identify resources available for billing support. Preparation Guide for AWS Cloud Practitioner Exam First, review the exam objectives. Reviewing each and every exam objective becomes the most important part of your preparation. So, make sure you visit the official website of AWS to have a clear view. Since, it is the most authentic site to provide any information regarding the CLFC01 exam. Second, download course outline. The second most crucial step is to download the course outline aka the exam guide. It consists of all the domains and topics of the examination. So, make sure to download the course outline. This allows you to prepare for the CLFC01 exam, keeping in mind all the objectives. Third, online learning courses. If a candidate wishes to join an online course for the same, there are various courses available online. In fact, the internet is cluttered with so many courses. So, make sure to find a suitable course, which is available in your price range. These courses provide you with online video study material that can get digested easily. Also, they even provide the candidate with sample papers. Fourth, AWS white papers and learning resources. After this, you must go through AWS white papers. With these, you will expand your knowledge of the cloud with AWS technical content. Also, you'll find various technical white papers, technical guides, reference material, and reference architecture diagrams. But we have narrowed it down to the following. So, make sure to go through the following. 1. Overview of Amazon Web Services 2. Architecting for the Cloud, AWS Best Practices 3. How AWS Pricing Works 4. Compare AWS Support Plans 5. AWS Reference Books There are many reference books that are available for the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification Exam. And, the few good ones are 1. The Beginner's Guide to Amazon Web Services Book by Dennis Hutton. 2. AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Study Guide Book by Ben Piper, David Clinton. 3. AWS Basics Beginner's Guide Book by Gordon Wong. 4. Certified Cloud Practitioner Certification Guide Book by Todd Montgomery. 5. Amazon Web Services for Dummies by Bernard Golden. 6. Join the community or online forum. Online forums and study groups are a great way to prepare for the certification exam. Therefore, feel free to get in touch with other candidates through study forums or online groups to ask a question related to the topic you're having difficulty with. However, it's not something you have to join. It's just something very subjective. Not to mention, these online groups help you stay equated with the other people who are also walking through the same path as yours. Moreover, you can also ask a question related to the topic you're having difficulty with. 7. Self-Evaluation Time Finally, we're on the last step for the preparatory guide. Further, this final step will give the candidate the exact insight of the topics in which they're lacking. So, make sure you're going through enough sample tests, after you have gone through the entire syllabus. Most importantly, all the practice tests are designed to encounter the real exam environment around you. However, practice papers can be from various sources. Above all, Remember the more you test yourself the better you're going to become. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.